Hi, everybody. Righty. Oh, so good morning. It is uh, September 21st. 20. Ooh, today's first day of fall. Excellent. Or maybe it was yesterday. All right, so we're finishing up with the pilot side microphone and head jack inputs, and then we will move on to the passenger side, co-pilot side. Uh, basically, exact same thing that we did the first time. Strip wires, identify the jack points, add some shrink wrap, solder, heat the shrink wrap, install, done. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I've forgotten to mention about this. So when you're installing the jacks, in order to minimize the interference from the electrical signals getting mixed in or having the jacks accidentally ground to the airframe is you use isolating washers, which I will, let's, let's talk about what that is, right? So the idea behind the microphone jacks is that you talk through your headset, which is energized by electricity that's going through the actual cable to the headphone jack itself. Well, I'm sorry, let's just, let's just talk about the microphone jack, right? You're talking, it's being picked up because the headset is energized. Well, where's that power coming from? What's well, coming from the audio panel, which is where they're plugged into. So there's power coming along there. Uh, there's no actual ground to keep that metal jack isolated from the airframe. And as you can see here, we are mounting these things directly to the uh, floor plates of the fuselage, which of course are metal. And that winds up causing what's called is a uh, ground loop, right? So power goes out to the load, whether it be lights or flaps or, or whatever, and then the power comes back and I have everything grounding to those blocks behind the subpanel. You've seen them. Uh, whenever you have an accidental ground, a secondary path to ground, that's called a ground loop, right? And we want to avoid those. Those can cause static in your avionics. That can cause, and you, and you don't want that, right? One of the ways that we deter that, and at least in this circumstance where we have, you know, jacks and things, metal connecting directly to metal, is we use isolating washers. Now there's there's two types. There's little nylon ones. Here's a picture of one here. Looks like a beige donut. Uh, that's just nylon, right? So it's non-conductive. And here's uh, another version that's called a shoulder washer. So that's this is a shoulder washer. You can see it's got the little lip on it. Kind of looks like a UFO. That uh, when you use in conjunction with putting the jack through the plates here, keep the jacks from touching the metal plates because of the shoulder and thus isolates it and keeps it from ground looping, which is really awesome. So the only the other thing to talk about with this is wiring the mics to actually transmit. Okay, So in order to transmit, the mic jack, microphone jack needs to be grounded. Now there's two ways to do it, and the way that I'm doing it is grounding directly from the mic uh, through my control stick into the, well, the you know, forest of tabs behind the subpanel. Uh, here's a little diagram. This is, it, it is technically the alternate way, but you can see that this is this is the way I'm actually doing it. So it's just, I'm just have a wire that that connects from the orange, uh, from the white orange wire all the way through my control stick, along the tunnel behind the subpanel and into the ground. And when I, you know, push the push the talk button, voila, voice is heard, and it's fantastic. All right, so we're done here. In the next video, we're going to keep on going with the uh, landing gear. Now, let's see. Do I have any Q&A or anything like that? No, no Q&A. Oh, what you do see me doing right here is putting the snap bushings on all the wires that go across for the wing. So in most of the snap bushings in this plane are the bigger ones. You can see the uh, rudder cable coming out right near the center tunnel there. That's a three-quarter inch snap bushing. Well, the snap bushings for these are 0.5 inches. They're half an inch. And for some reason, I just didn't have any. I don't know if they weren't supposed to be with the kit or I may have accidentally deleted them. Who knows? Uh, those are a lot of fun. No, no, they're not. They're tough. So, All right. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Have a good weekend. Uh, see you soon.